Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Circuit Power Burn Workout. So in this workout, we'll be using your dumbbells to get strength, to add some power, and to get your heart pumping for cardio. We'll take it back to basics and then each round will add a little bit more intensity and power. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options to work to your level and be where you are today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get started with a quick warm up. Go ahead and start marching, moving your body, shake everything out. You can do some rolls through the wrist, through the elbows, and then through those shoulders. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short so we can get right into that workout. So of course, if you need more of a warm up, if you need a little more mobility work or activation or getting your body up to the right temperature, please get it on your own. We are gonna get that blood flowing, get that heart pumping, and make sure that we get those muscles ready to go. But sometimes we need a little bit more right through here, side to side. Let's hold it here. Just reach and reach, reach. Opening up those hips right through here. Big stretch, open the shoulder if you can through the spine. Right through here, we're gonna go with an I, straight up with the shoulders. Y, thumbs are up, and T. You can do a little hinge right here. I, Y, and T, if you wanna come up with it. I, little hinge with it, and T if that feels okay, warming up through your back. So it's shoulder mobility, and we get that stretch through our back. Let's get one more. I, Y, and T, let's keep with that hinge. We're gonna hinge it down, hands down. We're gonna squat, up, and up. Slight bend on the knees with both. Hinge, squat, up, and up. You don't have to go all the way to the ground. You can keep your hands right here. And up, hinge, squat. Let's get two more. So you're extending through the back of the legs. Hold it right here, hands on the legs or hands on the ground. If it is good for you, you're gonna step one leg back. Reach one arm up, back to center, right here. One leg back, one arm up. If you need to keep that up top, you can be here. Stretch over to the side instead of that twist. Step back. If you can, let's take it one leg back and then the other in that plank. Hold it here, you can also drop to the knees or stay up with hands on the legs. We're gonna press it up, down dog. Back to center, right here. Press it up, down dog. Back to center, one more. And then whatever you need to do, walk those hands back, walk those feet up, round it up. Tap it across right here. So here's what we got, team. We are getting warm, we are getting ready to go. We've got our power circuit power burn, right? So what that means, we're working in a circuit with our dumbbells. So we have three exercises, three rounds, and we have three circuits of that. So that was three exercises for your circuit, and then you have three rounds. We are going down in time and down in reps. Your first round is 40 seconds, then you get 30 seconds, then you get 20. We're gonna decrease the rest as we go. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, 30, 15, 20 and 10. So it is gonna move quickly, but your first round is back to basics and you can always stay right there. So you can keep it back to basics all three rounds if you want, or you can take it with a little burn on that round two and a little power on round three. I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. Watch me here, grab one or two dumbbells. We're gonna start with just a back to basic squat. I'm gonna hold one heavy right here. We're gonna sit low in that goblet squat, drive it up. You got 40 seconds, join me right here. Here we go, drop it down, press up through the heels. So several options on this. You can have one dumbbell in the center like I'm doing, goblet squat. You can have two that are racked or down by the side or in the front. You can also just keep it body weight. A lot of our power rounds, we're gonna keep it body weight. That's our shortest round. And we may add a little plyometrics, some power, so we may keep that body weight. You got 10 seconds right here. 
regular squat, back to basics, slow and controlled, core is engaged. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we got a shoulder press. So grab that other dumbbell. We're gonna take it right here. You're gonna go hammer press straight up and down. We're gonna mix this up as we go in our round two. So let's go straight up and down. If you need to take it to one dumbbell, you can take it right here. Here we go, join me. 40 seconds, one dumbbell here in the center. Core engage, it's that push motion. Straight up, I've got one foot staggered, so I'm not arching my back. And again, you can take it to two dumbbells. One or two, straight up and down right here. Yes, breathe, elbows in, and you don't have to drop them lower than here. You can keep them right about here. Feel how your core kicks in as you get to this point. Straight up, chest, shoulders, arms, you got three, two, one, and relax. All right, join me down on the mat. If you wanna keep this standing, you can just do a knee cross standing. Otherwise, we're taking it to a plank. I want you actually to start on your elbows. You're gonna bring the knee in as you pike up with the hips. You can take it from the knees too if you need to. Join me right here. Knee comes in as your hips pike. So we're gonna start on the elbows because we're gonna move our way up to our hands. But for here, back to basics, slow and controlled, drive the knee to the chest, drop it back. Knee to the chest as the hips lift. So you gotta do a little pike, pull everything in and up, tilt that pelvis, and drive the knee to the chest as you pike. You got just about 10 seconds, strong in that core, and then we're going to our burn round. We're gonna get through this workout quickly. The nice thing about the sets is that they go down in time, so they go quicker. Three, two, one, bring it back up. All right, team, water if you need it. We're going back up to the top. So now with our squat, we're gonna do a little step out. So we're gonna make it burn. We're here, we're out, in, out, in. You can keep it down the whole time, or you can go out right, out left, bring it up. Join me, it's 30, here we go, down. Step out, in, out. You can come up in between, or you just keep it down the whole time. It's only 30 seconds, so it's gonna go by quicker, right? But I do want you to drop the hips. Try not to be here. If you can, be here. Weight in the heels so we get those glutes. Again, come up if you need to, if you feel like you're losing your form. Stay down if you can. Burn, three, two, one. And relax, grab that other dumbbell. So now we only got 15 seconds of rest, but that's okay. We're gonna burn those shoulders. If you need to keep one dumbbell, do exactly what we just did. Otherwise, take them out. We're gonna press up. We're gonna bring the elbows in. Press and in. Here we go, three, two, one. Press, bring them in. Sometimes we call this the Arnold press or press to fly, right? Because we got that fly motion as if we were pulling in for those chest and shoulder muscles. Keep the core engaged. Again, if that's too much, you take one dumbbell right in the center. Here we go, right here. So press, five seconds, elbows in. Ooh, there's that burn. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, I told you each round goes a little quicker because it's only 30 seconds. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna take it down. This time, we're taking it down. We got a plank knee hold. So we're gonna hold in, take it across, in, take it back. Join me down here. Knee comes in, goes across to the opposite elbow, in and back. Here we go, 30 seconds. And back, knee in, across, in. If you really wanna get fancy with it, you can turn your hips as you cross. You'll get a little extra obliques. You need to take the standing knee, cross, and down, knee, a little bit of balance. You can do it. Five seconds to go. Knee, cross, and up. Last one, and relax. All right, team, this is it, our last round. This is our power round. Let me tell you what we got, because we only got 20 seconds. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Power squat. You can do regular back to basics, or 
little squat jump or power up. However you generate power is the right power squat for you. So you can go come up on the toes, you can keep it back to basics, you can add the jump. Then we're going push press. We're gonna push it up. I'll talk you through that. And then we're taking it to a mountain climber. 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest. It's gonna go by fast. You do what's best for you, be where you are today. Let's rock out this power round. 20 seconds, power squat, three, two, one, right here, up. I like to touch down in between. You can also use those arms for power, power up. Land soft, land low. It's not just a jump, right? We're still getting down there. Power, drop, power. Up to you if that's too fast for you. You generate power a little slower, that's okay. Three, two, one, and breathe. Grab one or two dumbbells, bend your knees, watch me with this push press. You get a little power, and down. That's not right for you. You just keep it regular press. In three, two, one. Here we go. And down. So a little bit of those hips kicking in. You're not rounding in your back, powering up, but it's a little power. You can even move your feet with it, but make sure you're staying safe. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Join me down on the mat. We got that mountain climber for 20. If you're doing it standing, you generate power here. You tap it in or bird dog, but we got last 20 in three, two, one. Here we go. Power. Remember, it's not so much about how fast we go. I would much rather you drive your knee to the chest. You can twist it too if you want that twist, but keeping it controlled. You're not back here. You're really driving those knees in for five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back, yes, team. That power round is gonna feel a lot like a cardio round as well. So I want you to get a real rest. You can keep it tapping, but real rest for about 30, 40 seconds before we go to that next round. We're gonna get through this workout fast. All right, team, catch your breath. Tap it out as your heart rate comes down. We're taken to a lunge. So we got two dumbbells or one or no dumbbells. We got our regular stationary lunge. 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. We're starting with that and we take it to a row, then a dead bug. Go ahead, bend your knees, grab those weights if you're using them, get set up. Train tracks about hip distance apart. You're dropping it low in the lunge if you need to tap back to modify. That's an option or take it to a squat. Here we go, drop it down. It's only 20 seconds for this first round. 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. So, I wanted it to be steady, stationary split squat or lunge. So that's why we're splitting 20 and 20. We'll go right into that next leg in three, two, one. Switch it up right here, get in position. Here we go. Drive it up. Remember, you can hinge forward a bit, but we don't want to round in the back, right? But you can come forward into that front leg. That actually helps us increase the activation, right? Breathe, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Now we're gonna take it to a bent over row. So, a few options. Bend your knees here, elbows up, drop them down. You can also stagger if that's better for you, but zip up that core, pack those shoulders, so roll them back, then hinge it. Here we go, up and down. So think about bringing the weights towards your hips and leading with the elbows, not the wrists, right? We're not here. If you can do that, your weights might be a little too light. Mine, I think, are too light for this run. Squeeze in your back, elbows up to the sky and also elbows towards each other. If you need a little breather in between for your back, just bring it up. We're about halfway there. And up. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. Elbows in, drop them down. Flat back, really be aware. It might feel like you're arching, but your back is straight. You got five, four, core, three, two, one. Nice team. All right, down on your back carefully. Take your time getting here. We're going to a dead bug. This is generally safe for everybody, but if you need to take it to a bridge, you can, or if you need to take it to standing, just go with those knee raises. But we're right here, hands here. You're either tapping or you're extending. Breathe, three, two, one, 40 seconds, out. Take it out, bring it in. I really want you to check in with 
your alignment, right? Where's that spine? Do you feel a big arch in your back? Tilt the hips forward. Really think about bringing your hips towards your rib cage and your hips and ribs towards the navel in the center. I love the dead bug because you are not flexing or extending through your spine, but you feel your entire core unit working, right? If you're doing this correctly, really concentrate for three, two, close the core, relax. All right, team, back up on to your feet. We're gonna do it all again. The difference now is we got 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left for our lunge. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're gonna take it regular lunge to side lunge. So we're back here, your same leg is gonna travel. So I want you to stay low because we wanna get that burn, but we're side to side, right? So lunge, lunge. We got 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Starting in three, two, right leg forward, left leg travel. Down, bring it up, and here. So you're dropping that back knee, then you're taking it to that other side. If it starts to feel like too much, just pick one. You can still get the burn with just the side lunge or just the reverse lunge, right? Take it here, push through the right heel, push out of the left hip and heel. Last one. Yes, get set up. Same thing, other side. Left foot forward, 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Take it down, push up and through. And here, what I mean by staying low is you're never coming all the way up. I want you to push out, stay low. Woo! Little bit of balance, right? Here, so lunge and side. Shift the weight, it's a hinge into that side lunge, right? Five seconds. Nice team. You got three, two, one. And relax. All right, team. Take it down whew, into a row. So you can be on all fours or you can be in that high plank position. Whatever is good for you. We're going to pulse for 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds on the other. Take it standing, take it knees, take it plank. Here we go. 15. So you're holding strong in that core. I know it's challenging, so if you need to be here, take it here. If you can, lift it up. Pull that shoulder blade in. Three, two, one. Switch your sides. Try to keep those hips square to the mat. I know that's hard. Try to keep that elbow and shoulder right above the wrist. We have a tendency to wanna go here, but we're gonna keep it forward. Five, four, three, two, one down onto your back team. I know we're moving quickly, but that's the way this workout is designed. We're gonna get through it quick. You're gonna love it. All right, so now take that opposite hand on that opposite leg. You're gonna push your leg towards your hand, push your hand towards your leg. They're pushing against each other and take that opposite side dead bug. We got 15 seconds here, then we switch. 15 seconds here. Zip up that core, tilt that pelvis, pull everything in, push on one side, opposite arm and leg. Here we go. Feel the difference. So you should feel that contraction as you're pushing. Hand is pushing against the leg. Leg is pushing into the hand. And then as that opposite arm and leg come in, close that core. Last one. Switch your sides right here. 15. Take it here. Close it up. Yes, team. Again, you can always take it to a bridge if you need to. Yes. Get it done. Three, two, one. Hug the knees in. All right, team, this is it, your power round. Let me go ahead and show you since we're here, when we get to that dead bug, we're gonna take it to a sprinter's crunch right here. Power up. Still deep core, get some power coming up, but not using your back, just so you're already aware for that. With our lunges, let's keep our weights out of the way. We're gonna do power lunge, whatever that is for you. That can just be driving the knee, or little hop step right here. You know it, you love it. We got 20, 20 each side. With our rows, watch me. One side, 15, row, snatch. Sorry, 20, 20. Row and snatch, if that's not right for you. Row, high pull, or just the row. Are we good? Let's get it done. 20 seconds, right, power lunge, whatever that is for you. In three, two, one, 
drop it down, power it up. If you can add a little jump, I love it. If you need to, I love this too, right? You're still getting power. Low to high. Yes, team. Whoo, little burn, I know. We should call this the burn round. Breathe. Three, two, one. Shake it out, get set up on that other side. <laughs> My mic is going all over the place. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Huh. Drive it up again. Your power can be here. Or get low, tap it in. Or with a jump. Whatever you got in you, you're doing it right. If you're moving, if you're moving safely and effectively, that's all we need. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. One heavy dumbbell. All right, team, stagger it here. Watch me one time. Hinge, row, snatch, or row, high pull. The power comes on that pull. If that's not right for you, you just keep it a row. Three, two, one. Hinge it, row, snatch, row, snatch, or row. High pull, yes. Hip up. Yes, team. Three, two, one. Breathe. Ha. Lots of back and shoulders. Let's get to the other side. So we're here. Whew. Breathe. Zip up the core. Low and snatch or pull. We got row. Snatch. Row. Huh. You can also keep this here. Or step it in. High pull. Yes, team. We got this. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah, set those weights aside. Down on your back. If you need to take it standing or seated or keep that dead bug, totally fine. Otherwise, we got power coming up. It's runner's crunch as if you're running towards the sky. Drop it down, give yourself a second to catch your breath. Bring those hips together, tilt the hips towards the rib, tilt the pelvis, driving it up, legs straight. Three, two, one, power. Power, but using the core. Slow on your way down. Yes, you can. And yes, you will. All the way through, deep core. All the way up. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, team, grab a sip of water. We got one more round. Whew. We might shorten it. So sneak in a little bonus move but get excited. First thing team, Woo! I'm gonna go with my heavies, cause we should. Should've been using these the whole time. Shoulders back, it's a deadlift. Then we got our regular bicep curl. Second round, we're actually adding some power. Third round is our bonus move. We're putting those 20 seconds together. All right team, so go ahead, grab those heavy weights. It's just a hinge. You can keep it body weight too if you want. Shoulders back, core engaged. Three, two, one, down. So we're mixing this up. We have our back to basics round. 40 seconds. Then we have our power round. Then we have our bonus move. So I'm putting that third round all together, three rounds of 20 seconds with no rest. But you can do it, it's gonna be one long move and squeeze, but then we're done. Think of how quickly those other rounds go. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Get ready. We got a regular bicep curl. All right, team, you're right here. Zip up that curl, core for the curl. One foot back or together, just make sure we're not arching. Pull everything in, shoulders packed. We're going up and down, join me. We got curl. Really enjoy this last back to basics move. <sighs> Around, I should say. We are so close to wrapping it up here, team. So stay with me. I know you can. <sighs> and breathe. <sighs> if you need to, you can always alternate. If that's starting to get heavy, I know you're tired. This has been a power workout. A lot going on. 
love power. That's where we put speed and strength together. You have it in you, you are powerful. You got three, two, one, and relax. Give your hands a little break. One dumbbell, last back to basics. We're just going cross knee, cross knee, right? So we're getting that core from a standing position. One or two, up to you. Take it here, shoulders back, zip up the core. Core, here we go. Guess because I'm saying curl in this round a lot. Breathe. Up to you. If you just want to cross and keep it centered, push into that weight. You'll get a little extra upper body and extra core. If you want, try to pull that elbow on the opposite side. You pick your pace. Just want you to feel your abs, feel the arms, feel that heart rate getting up. 10 seconds right here. Yes, five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team. Now we got a power round for our second round. 30 seconds. We're gonna do a swing. You can take it here, ski or swing. You can take it one in the center, power it up, or you can keep it with just your deadlift. Whatever is best for you. Let's get it done for 30. Three, two, one. Prep it. Power up, block it up. Remember, you're powering those weights up, not with your arms, but with the back of your body. Glutes, hamstrings, core, hips. Back is working, but we're not lifting arms. Arms are along for the ride. Bring it up 10 seconds. Power, you're locking out up top and then letting it drop. Ski your swing. We got three, two, one. 15 seconds if you want a little break right here. All right, guys, now we got our clean. You can keep it with a curl and then slowly down, or if you can, watch me. Clean, slowly down. Clean, slowly down. Join me. Curl and slow, or clean and slow. You can also keep it here. So basically, we're getting power on the way up, what we call eccentric, on the way down. Take it up. Yes, breathe. Ha. Ha. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, 15 seconds to breathe. Watch me, we're gonna add some power. You got squat, knee, squat, knee. So core, upper, and lower together. Here we go, take it down, bring it up. Of course, you can keep it back to basics, with just that knee cross. Of course, you could take it body weight, if that's better for you. And breathe, down and up, but keep it moving. You got 15, power, power, yes. Team, you got five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team, your last round. 20 seconds, but we're putting it together. We're calling it a bonus move. Let's get it done. Bonus move. You probably know what it is because we just did all those things. Watch me one time. You can pick any or all of this to do. We got 60 seconds. You're gonna swing for three. Three, two, clean, squat, knee, squat, and knee. You don't wanna do all that? You just pick what you wanna do. Let's get it done. Three sets of 20 all together for a 60 second bonus move. Roll those shoulders back, hinge it. You can do deadlift into curl two. Here we go. Power it up. Three, two, clean it. Squat it down, cross your knee. Squat it down, cross your knee. Back to center, swing it. Three, two, one, clean and squat. Cross the knee for core. Cross the knee for core, yes. Swing, three, two, one, squat, whoo, cross, yes, halfway, three, two, one, clean and squat, power it up, power it up, so close right here, three, two, control, but power, huh. Last one, right here. Three, two, 
One, clean and squat. Yes. Oh man. Shake it out right here. Catch your breath, team. That is it. I know. We're gonna cool it down. I want you to grab a sip of water. I know we haven't had a ton of water breaks, but I'm so proud of you for hanging with me for this workout. Even if you took more breaks than me, even if you dropped your weight, even if you were going faster than me or slower, it doesn't matter. You are here, you showed up. That is all that we need to remember. Quick little stretch, and please make sure you get more stretching and cool down on your own. Let's reach those thumbs to the back. We're gonna keep it short so we can get you out of here. But you know your body, you know if you need more stretching. Pretty much we always do. If you can hinge it here, if you can grab them, little pedal of those feet wherever you are. So please get more of a stretch on your own. Take it right here. Whew. I am so proud of you, team. Ha! Take it to the side. That was not easy. That was a little bit uncomfortable in a good way, right? We're putting intentional stress on our body to challenge ourselves, to work harder, to adapt. When we force those adaptations and exercise, that is how we get stronger. That's how we get more fit. That's how we get more endurance. That's how we make our lungs healthier, our hearts pump more efficiently. That's how we keep injuries and diseases away. We lower our risk for so many things. If you can, take it right here. If that balance is not right, don't worry. Whew. That's how we stay mobile for years and years and years. That's how we keep our brain healthy. You don't believe me, look up the most current research on exercise and brain health. It is amazing. So you're here, you're doing it. That's what I want you to leave with today. Feel proud of yourself. Whew. If you can get a little quad stretch, you can come on the wall. Leave here knowing that you are strong, you are capable, and you are showing up showing up for not only yourself, but showing up for all those people you love and the people that love you. That is what we're doing here today. And having fun, wasn't that fun? I mean, it's fun now that we're done, right? Ah, oh, thank you so much for being here today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell circuit power burn workout. Great job, everybody.